Hi, my name is Oscar. It's Neo Tech on YouTube. This is my first video in English since my first language is Spanish, so I'll try to do my best to explain myself in the easiest way, okay? Uh, I will give you the the link for the, the, the downloads for the file for the departure. When you download the departure, you go to settings. In settings, you will find um, the file config. You open it. If you are using a website, if you're using a website, you get a link for the main page for your website. In this case, this is just a VPS for video purposes, or test pur testing purposes. I get a link here, and I paste it. Here will be the file where my departure is going to be on the VPS or the hosting. Let's say um, testing, right? Very important. All the time you need this a slash. All the time. If you don't do it, it's not gonna work. This main ini. This main ini. You're gonna find it on the files for for the BPS of the hosting. This one. You don't change it. You can change it. That's up to you. But it doesn't matter. This is a temporary file that will be created whenever your users, your players, open the update or departure. Let's say um, testing testing departure. This is gonna be the name of the GRF where your files, your updates will be applied. This is the name of your raw your client and if you add this command over here whenever you click on the start the on departure it's gonna open the game you don't need none of these here's the the title for departure but that really doesn't matter if you change the name or you don't or you don't change it it really doesn't matter this is like a um, all of these that you see over here are CSS uh, settings if you know HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, you could do a lot of things. Here, you do the same step. You add the the link for your server and the name for the file. This is for the notices. Whenever you want to let your players know that uh, this update was applied for this and this purpose or whatever you come to the you notice you come to notice and you just add it on the let me open this with um and you add it over here Okay. And that's everything you do on config. Once you're done with that, you save it. Once you're done with that, you open config generator. You click on the box and you go to departure files and you go to test. Here you will find the departure X. Once you do this, the next step is gonna be uploading the files for your departure on your BPS. You go to the HTML, you go to the HTML root, and you create a directory testing. Once you do this, you open this. And you go to all decks on all decks, all of these files next to be 
on this folder a directory once you do this you make sure the main ini you have the IP address for your server so that they, so that they the departure can communicate with the hosting or the server or whatever here is saying that the outtakes will be available on the data folder directory okay and here p list that's the the list of the outtakes you close it fine now the next step is gonna be how do I apply all dates to my GRF? Let's say let's create um, a GRF, empty GRF, just for this test. Save it. It's just for testing purposes. But this will be applied to your GRF for your ser for your server. You come to what is a departure files? Okay, it's just an example. Like say that I have this, it's empty. Like say that I wanted to apply an old date to my year F. How do I do this? You always you can create another like year F file, put it on the website here, and this will not work. But if you have um an en encrypt encryption password and may not work. You might have some problem with the ERF. So the best way for you to do it will be file new and you create a tour. Here you will you will see all of the folders, the directories for you to like apply the the files. So example if I wanted to add a custom item I add it on where it's supposed to be but in this case um I want this picture just for a just an example. I want this picture to be um in my GRF. GRF. I put on on data. And very important. This. You click here. Wait. Let me see. You click here. When you click here, it's gonna give you these options in here. You're gonna see merge into raw directory. That means that that will go to the folder. Now, if you click on merge into GRF, that means that it's gonna be applied to your GRF. In this case, the GRF will be a uh, new that GRF. Let's save it. And the tour update uno. Okay, here. How do I apply the update to my GRF? I do this. <laughs> Drag it into the directory. One is here. All I need to do is just open the parcher and now open the parser. You need to come here and add it. That's gonna be update one that tour. You save it. You always need to do this. If you wanted to add another one, that would be two, uh, whatever, three, a space, whatever, and etc. You save it. Close it. You open the par whenever your players open the parcher, you see it's gonna work. Now you have a star game, and you see that it made the changes on the you notice. If I open my, my GRF and I go to data, it will be right here. So I hope that guys that you understood everything on this video. Just remember that this is not my first language and I'm trying to do it because somebody asked me to. Uh, you can go to my YouTube channel. I have a um, playlist in Spanish so you can literally see everything I do. And even though you don't know Spanish, you can just look at what I'm doing and do your servers settings. 
I hope you enjoyed the video and have a nice day.